Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back here on the road to AFCON 2023 with me, Ziki. Now, we're going to be looking at Group E. Now, in Group E, this is where we have Mali, Namibia, South Africa, and Tunisia. But before we move forward, please don't forget to watch, like, comment, and engage. Okay, this is the support that you can give us. So, let's get back to the video. Now, looking at Mali, Mali has appeared 12 times at the AFCON tournament and and their best performance ever was in 2013 when they finished third. In 2021, which is the previous AFCON, they only read the round of 16. So I'm sure this time around they'll be looking to do even better. Now, when we're talking about Mali, Mali, you know, can boast of players that play in different kinds of leagues. They have got players who play for um for La Liga. They've got players in Syria A. They've got some players in League 2 and others who play locally. Now, we can talk of goalkeeper Ismail Diawara, who plays in Sweden and they've got their defenders like Diara who plays with Tolose and Hamari Traore who plays for Real Sociedad and okay midfielders they've got Bisoma who is at Tottenham, Kamara who is at Monaco, Bobaka who is at Wolves, Ibrahim Sissoko who is at St. Etienne and many other players that they can boast of. So we are looking forward to Mali doing their best you know so that they can you know beat all the records that they've set. Like I said their best place ever was in 2013 when they finished third now moving forward to our neighbors that is namibia of course i've been looking at other people you know other opponents who have been talking say well namibia could be the underdogs but i wouldn't rule them out just like that okay they've appeared three times and in all those three times they've been eliminated at group stages maybe this time around they're going to do things a little bit different okay so And also they're being called by Colin Benjamin, Benjamin, sorry, by Colin Benjamin, okay? Their first game is going to be against Tunisia, which is going to be very difficult for them, but we hope they're going to, uh, you know, to sell through. Mali, their first game is going to be against South Africa, okay? So that too is going to be an interesting, interesting game. Now, um... Moving forward now, Namibia goalkeeper, of course, is Kazapo from Chipa United, is playing in South Africa. And then, of course, you know, most of, you know, Namibian players, they are in South African League, okay? So, it's like when they meet South Africa, it's like they are playing friend to friend, okay? Because they really know the game plan, you know, they know the, 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 the type of football that is played in South Africa. So, that is it. Some of them, like Ashalulile is from um, Mamelodi, plays for Mamelodi. And then, we've got Hoto, who plays for Ola. So this is generally what Namibian team is made of. And of course, my favorite one, that is South Africa. I'm sorry I had to reveal it, okay, but South African team, South Africa. South Africa is qualified 11 times, okay. And the first time that they appeared, you know, it was in 1996, you know, in the past, before 1994, they were banned because of the apartheid era. But in 1996, when they qualified, they then won. They qualified and won, so it was really, really good for them. Okay, this was in 1996, and that was the last time that they won the cup. So why can't they do this thing again in 2023? Okay, they have to do something for us. So in, in 1998, they were second place. In 2000, they were third place. 2002. Sorry, 2002, they were quarterfinals. 2013 and 2019, those two quarterfinals. In 2021, they did not qualify, and now they've qualified. So please do something, Bafana Bafana. We are looking at you, okay? And when you're looking at Bafana Bafana team, it's all about local talent. We've got Marmelo dominating. We've got Kaiser Chiefs. We've got, you know, um, I, I, I like um, Amazulu, all those ones. And I, let me just mention just a few of uh, of the players there. We have the goalkeeper, that is Rowan Williams, who happens also to be the captain. He is playing for Mamelodi. We've got Velimoto, who is at Amazulu. We've got Ricardo, who is a super spot. All these three are the goalkeepers that they're going to be using for this AFCON. And also we have uh, players like Pesita, who is at Alhali in Egypt. And of course, they're being called by Hugo Bruce. And Hugo Bruce, remember, in 2017, he led Cameroon to win AFCON. So we hope that Hugo is going to make sure that South Africa wins this AFCON. We need it, okay? We need it, okay? <laughs> Anyway, so this is Team South Africa briefly for you, but like I said, I'm going to be continuously giving you more details about this team as we go further, okay? And the last team here, uh, which is of uh, many people are saying, well, this team might end up being the, in the top of Group E, that is Tunisia. Tunisia has, up, has appeared 21 times, and it is one of those teams that has been to the AFCON 16 times consecutively. 
you know, <laughs> from 1994 to 2021, they have never missed any AFCON tournament. So you can see their power and their influence there. And unfortunately, all that record being said, the only one once, that is in 2004, when they hosted the tournament. So we're like, all these appearances with only one win, they have to do something, okay? They have to do something there. So Group E is looking like it's just so balanced, okay? When you want to look at it, it seems like the South Africa and Tunisia, okay, being the favorites of many people that are talking about it, okay? So now they have their goalkeepers who are all mostly uh, Tunisia-based, okay? And only one with our Hazem, who is in Saudi Arabia. They've also do, uh, their defenders, Tunisia-based, and only someone who is in France, and then there were some few ones, and then there's this Akori who is in Copenhagen, but most of them, they are all local-based, and others, they play in other different African leagues, okay? So these are the teams that we have in Group E, that is Mali, Namibia, South Africa, and Tunisia. Pick your pick. Which team do you think is going to come out victor in this group? I, like I said before, and I'll say it again, I am for South Africa, I am for Bafana Bafana, and then I am for Namibia, followed by, you know, Mali, and then Tunisia, in that order, okay, in that order, South Africa, Namibia, Mali, and Tunisia, may the best team wins, okay, so anyway, so this is all we have, and until I come back again, please, just follow, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, where we're going to be having more and more discussions about even different other aspects of football, okay, we're going to be talking on, um, on Facebook and uh, also we're going to be bringing in live streaming here on YouTube very very soon we are working on it so I am looking for people who know about football the panels anyone who wants to come live with us to talk about this tournament that is going to be coming out please let me know hit me up via my email so that we can arrange the live streams because all live streams are going to be done on YouTube okay because Facebook is having some technical problems so we cannot really broadcast in eight people on Facebook so we're going to be doing all those live streams on youtube so i'm going to give you the link while you can follow the you know subscribe to ziki media if you need to subscribe to ziki media on facebook on youtube then you can come to youtube and then we, this is where we're going to be discussing it's going to be very interesting and i will remind you that again uh the games are going to start from january the 13th up until um february the 11th now the prize money has been increased initially i made a video saying that the prize money for the first winner it was going to be five million it has been increased okay I think to around 7 million or something, but I'm going to do a separate video where I'm going to give an update about the prize money because, you know, the price, the FIFA, the CAF present is increasing, announced an incre increment in the prize money. So we're to, going to indulge on that so that you see how much is now going to be paid to the winners as compared to what I had shared before, okay? So this is all I have for you, my friends, and I hope you're all doing very well. You know, uh, we're trying to bring you everything, you know, up to date. You know, we always striving to make sure that you don't miss anything. This is why we are running with the motto, reliable, timely, and verified. Everything we give you is verified, is timely, and is very reliable. So all those things, you can only find them when you subscribe and follow Ziki Media. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on YouTube. But currently, we don't have any... Um, we haven't had any of the you know channels on instagram we don't have on x we have a page but we've not yet been followed for sharing football but we're planning to go on every platform so that you can find us anywhere where you are my name is ziki i am your sports anchor and i'm the one who's been doing this and i also have we have a website where uh, a news a new site where i work as the sports editor okay and this is very interesting all i do is i love football i love stories so this is me i am the editor for sports in on that online news so if you want to see more stories i never miss a thing and i'm always updating you on all the latest news that is happening in every kind of league that we follow english premier league and all the cups all the competitions as long as football ziki is always there so this is all i have for you my friends let me know which team do you think is going to come out victor or come out on top of of group e we have mali we have never won anything but they finished the third in 2013 we have namibia we have appeared three times and all those three times they've been eliminated in uh in group stages we have south africa we have appeared 11 times you know and they won once in 1996 which was their first appearance there and in other games they've been you know second place in 1998 in 2000 they were third players in 2002 2013 and 2019 they went into 
the quarterfinals and the previous uh, AFCON, they did not qualify. Then we've got to Tunisia. We have been there 21 times and the only one once. Which team do you think is, be on, is going to be on top of Group E? Until I come back again, please take care.